Okay, folks, let's see if we can make this one look interesting. All right, let's see what we've got. Gonna make this one a 400. Okay, let's see how we go with this. Gonna leave the contrast in the middle. Gonna lighten this off heaps. Maybe it's too light. I think it's a bit too light. We're just gonna light it normally. All right, let's see how we go with this. All right, let's see what we've got to bring. We've got here a guide to the gardens of Kyoto. We're going to use this. We're going to take this section out of that image. So we're just going to put that on the glass like so. I hope we can make something good out of it. Just going to gently drop the dock feeder on it. Let's see how we go. Yeah, the scanner's making a bit of a squeak noise again. Like that, just a little bit. Oh, let's see how we go. Okay, out it comes. Whoa, that looks nice colour-wise. I like the colour in that. It's a nice emerald green. Uh, wonder if we can shrink it a little bit, but it's a nice... The colours just look brilliant. I do like that colour. Uh, I do think we can make it a bit smaller. However, uh, we're going to make it 360 by 360. Going to make it considerably smaller. Yeah, that scanner's making noise again. Sometimes it just does that, folks. Let's see how that looks. Even better, I hope. Ah, oh, it looks good. Uh, but then we got that nasty little bit there, which we don't want. Uh, don't know how this is going to work as a mirror. Uh, we'll soon find out. We'll get rid of that. We're going to have to enlarge it a bit bigger. I had a gut feeling maybe 360 was too small. So we're just going to go... 380. Oops, I've got 38. 380 by 380. I don't know how this is going to work. Doesn't look like a good mirror image piece. Let's see how that looks. We've gotten rid of that nasty bit of white yeah that looks a lot better so now we're just gonna uh, print this off as a mirror image so I'm wondering where the center of our job's gonna be it's that little bit there even though it's curled up a bit which is a pain in the ass actually it's, it's flattened down now which is good paper's a bit curly I just got some new uh, damp rid put in my closet today the good thing was I went to Coles and at Coles, they had some damp red refills. So instead of replacing the whole plastic container, I was able to refill the current one. So instead of wasting plastic, even though it goes to get, you know, you recycle plastic, but it's always best to reuse rather than recycle if you can avoid it. Uh, and basically I found it was really good to see that they had those in stock, which you don't normally see. Uh, but it was good to have them uh, in stock like that instead of just having to replace the whole container, which I'm really happy with. So I just have to let this damp red uh, take effect. It might, paper might have already been uh, damaged already by, the, by not having any fresh damp red. I do have a shower in my bar bedroom, which is the bedroom is where, of course, where I'm doing these demos. So... Basically, I do get a lot of steam and that just makes the humidity in this place a little high for using a photocopier. You can't help it. I haven't got the money to buy a place where I can just put a 
make a dedicated room to do my work I can't do that now this is really bad curling so you're not going to see a very nice rendition of this job uh, hopefully uh, whatever I just fucked it it looks shit house folks <laughs> this is probably the worst curl I've ever seen in my work it's really bad when we have all this black toner especially it's really heavy uh, this is not good folks you can just make out what it's supposed to be uh, sorry folks about the letdown gotta go